This illustration deals with the general lighting and receptacle load in accordance with 220.11 and 220.14J of the NEC. Now notice in the NEC loop, uh, I suggest that you review these sections carefully before you start this calculation. Now, uh, NEC loop uh, 210.11, 210.11a, uh, 220.11b, uh, and 220.14l uh, and i should be reviewed uh, very carefully before you start this calculation. Now notice in the illustration that you have your panel board, uh, you have your uh, circuits there supplying uh, lighting loads and receptacle loads, and each circuit would have two or more outlets on it to be considered a general purpose circuit uh, as defined in Article 100 of the NEC. Now, uh, the boxed-in information uh, shows the procedure for determining this general lighting and receptacle load. Now, the requirement is calculate the general lighting and receptacle load for a 60 by 60 square foot dwelling in accordance with 220.11. Now notice in step one, we calculate the VA and we would uh, apply 220.11 by taking a 60 by 60 square foot dwelling times three VA per square foot uh, would equal uh, in step two, 10,800 VA. But notice we use two, two steps, step one and step two, to determine this calculation. So in the solution, after reviewing step one and step two, we find then that the total VA for the lighting load and receptacle load is 10,800. Now we uh, will review with you, and uh, stock of test taken made easy, the procedure used to determine the number of branch circuits based upon this 10,800 VA as we move on through and into the upcoming uh, illustrations. So figure 1-2 simply deals with finding the VA rating for the general lighting and receptacle loads in accordance with NEC 220.11 and 220.14J.